Cape Sandblast in Gulf County has been undergoing a beach renourishment project for nearly seven weeks. And as they are halfway through the process, vacationers and residents have had their concerns. Tonight, News 13's Madeline Bierster looks at those concerns and how the county is working to address them. Gulf County is in the process of moving 2.1 million cubic feet of sand from Honeyville to the Cape Sandblast beaches. Funded by the National Fish and Wildlife Federation and the state, in total, the process costs $5.8 million. The purpose? To help better protect the houses and other infrastructure. A lot of our tax base is, is here on the Cape, and so uh, protecting those is certainly important, you know, not only to the homeowner, obviously, but it's important to the county, to our Admiral and tax base as well. So far, the project has drawn the attention of residents and tourists on the Cape. Overall, it's positive. I think, by and large, folks out here understand the importance of projects like this to, to protect the beach and, and to protect their homes and other infrastructure. Certainly, there are minor conveniences. It's a construction project, minor inconveniences. The color of the sand, loud construction, and low beach visibility have been some of the main concerns. It is annoying, and if anything grows on it, it does block the view. There's places down the beach where we would not stay because there's too much shrubbery. You can't sit and relax at your place and see the ocean and the beach, see your kids playing on the beach. Dehan and her family have been visiting the Cape for nearly five years, saying the beach was better in years past. There was more room on the beach. We could walk right out from our place, right to the beach. You didn't have to go over any hills or steps or walk around. Gulf County engineer Clay Smallwood says he hopes people see the overall need for the project. We have folks at the pit uh, that, that are keeping up with that to make sure it's still beach quality sand. And then we have folks here on the beach that are also keeping an eye on that as well. Other vacationers say the construction hasn't bothered them. They did a really good job. They only came out here and did construction the other day when there was no one on the beach. So it didn't disturb anybody at the time. Um, they were quick in, quick out. Wasn't that loud, wasn't disruptive, not bad. And that they understand the overall goal of this project. It's better than the alternative. At some point you're gonna have big storm surges come in and, and uh, better than being a big FEMA site. Because you have to replenish the sand, the beach moves, right? And there are nice houses here. They, they have to protect them somehow. Smallwood says all of the equipment should be cleared off the beach by June 1st. From there, 600,000 shrubbery plants and other vegetation will be placed in the dunes. In Cape Sandblast, Madeline Bierster, News 13, Panhandle Strong.